1108 2017 tinfoil hat club Scott Hensler sometimes I have to just ask why why are we in this mess why are we doing what we're doing why do we have to deal with what we deal with well evil does what evil is evil is the world we are in the world and tonight I want to talk about issues of devils which are fallen angels demons and people now <clears throat> I'm going to be getting into the goat head wall of shame tonight too because I want to make some connections here that when you have these people who are pretending to have your best interest who are supposed to be our teachers supposed to be those of spiritual guidance those of politicians who are to uh, watch over our country that in reality there is no difference between devils and demons these are people at least most of them are to some degree and I'm going to get into a little bit of that there's some really strange things that uh, science has brought forth <clears throat> But um, anyways, I would just want to touch on the fact that Harvard University is hosting a anal sex workshop 101. Now, you need to understand, and we've talked about this before and shows in past, that when you have rituals, when you have molestation, when you have rape, when you have different things, that are considered an abomination before the Lord and whether that is something that has been a part of your past or not the point of it is is that to exploit this as if it is something that is normal and common is doing nothing but causing more infection within the community now <clears throat> when you say well why not well after all the demons uh, basically are going to teach them correctly that's what's going on here because the people who are teaching this class the ones who have taken upon themselves to um, be one of a higher education so to speak that what they're doing <clears throat> is that then they're putting things in an order that allow the people who are infected to do that or to become infected correctly now when I say that when we talk about rituals when we talk about sodomy when we talk about those things that have to do with ceremonies that have to do with rituals that have to do just before sacrifice and even after sacrifice because uh, sex with dead people is on the rise and by the way, it is possible for a female to have sex with a dead male, and I've talked about that before. In fact, a few years back, a female be, who worked in a um, uh, mortician's home actually became pregnant by a dead male. And she was suing the family for child support. Now, if it is, is that twisted or not? Okay. But the point of it is, is that when you have the anatomy that's wrongly performed in sex acts, this is, again, seen as abomination before the Lord, and that when the penis is next to the spine, because in this confrontation or is this act, that is when that is done, that that is when the highest spiritual infection or transfer or abomination takes place now what's one of the spirits that we see that involves the spine the kundalini the serpent one of the the um, uh, forcing of one to do what one does not want to do acting crazy acting weird having diseases having issues of the body and of the mind that literally cause insanity a Puthon Python demon wraps itself around your spine. Now you can classify this as Kundalini, which is one of the chakras, but in either case, this is what is being promoted. This is what they're teaching our kids because when we're talking about college, we're talking about kids. Now, 
who this literally is a win-win for demons and in either case as I mentioned before that whenever you practice such things because you can make the mistake you can have a little bit too much drink you can do something you wish you hadn't done but those who practice such things are the ones who are going to be held accountable before the Lord now when I say Lord I'm talking about God because those who are in Christ that those then are dealing directly with Jesus so as I mentioned on Monday uh, in reference to another shooting that as the states become infected as the states become uh, targeted because of the shootings remember we talked about the ceremonies or the rituals that took place in Washington DC in front of uh, the obelisk supposedly being one of Christianity infecting everyone and bringing them back to their states and now the states are systematically being fired upon that everything that we see is is it literally going to be all 50 states before we see the final move well probably not but we will certainly find out very soon now winter is come upon us it has arrived for most people in the United States in the northwest or northern areas and northeast and as mentioned snow covering in these areas will make it very difficult for anyone in their plight to to exit and to leave and so I'm very concerned about a mass population having to be forced out and move and vacate their homes during January and February possibly I don't know for sure but I am concerned about it something in my spirit says to be concerned about it now it's interesting that Rand Paul not Ron Paul but Rand the son that uh, has six broken ribs now he's the Republican senator for Kentucky and he was assaulted by his neighbor while his neighbor was mowing the lawn now this was a fourth degree assault now I'm not sure why they came up with that one but politics were not the reason so I assume that maybe dog droppings were so I can assure you that this AR-15 style John Deere that was used against Ron Paul is to be blamed because I'll tell you what every, the assaults against weapons right now is at an all-time high now here's something interesting injecting tiny human brains into mice and rats tiny human brains so what they're telling us that they've already uh, are able to clone to grow to put in a petri dish and have formed human brains ones that act ones that think ones that nece not necessarily have a spirit but in it they're injecting this into the brains of mice now <clears throat> tiny brains called or or nodes okay now with that we can understand that again they're giving us a piece of the puzzle that uh, this has been technology that they've had some time that when they make it in something larger put it in something larger like a clone or or one of whatever they want to put together an Android that in this in itself that uh, that we have something that is not human that is programmable that has an attitude that has ability to think as ability to feel and boy I tell you that's a dangerous situation so their success is hopeful in creating the first synthetic liberal and that's really what I think that they're doing this way they do not have to indoctrinate them they just need to feed them and they'll vote automatically for Hillary now it's interesting that there's a rat alert in Brum or Burlington Britain 5,000 rat alerts of these cat sized rats and just think if they were to take these or anodes these uh, tiny brains and put them into these rats you potentially have a NFL player who will not uh, stand before the flag and take be a patriot all right devils now as I mentioned devils are fallen angels they're not demons many people think they are and the Catholic Church gets it all screwed up but in either case Lucifer is a devil not a demon fallen angels are devils not demons demons as I explained last night on we proclaim are the disembodied spirits of evil 
spirits or be, being of evil spirits, meaning that the Nephilim, the offspring of the fallen angels, that when they died, since their spirit was not human, since it was not ordained by God, and they dissipated out when they died, they are of dark matter or evil spirit. <clears throat> well, people, you need to understand that whether they're good, whether they're rotten, whether they're um, in the middle of somewhere, that in that they are easily potentially influenced by devils which are bad and demons that are bad. And people, the way I look at them and as a case-by-case -case basis, whether they're good or bad. Now, we're informed and warned that our heart is wicked, that we are of a fallen nature, even though Jesus Christ completed the law and ended the curse of the garden. We are still in our fallen nature until the return of Jesus Christ. And so this war of wickedness, this war of depravity, this war of evil that is taking place on this earth, notice I didn't say planet, that it is never ending until the return of Christ. And so what we're seeing is a infiltration into the media, into politicians, and, and you know basically into the political world, into corporations, into our lives in many forms. So our hearts that have been drawn toward wickedness have a potential of an iniquitous pull towards it because of generational sin and the lack of deliverance, the lack of, of repenting. Our souls are to be determined basically where that ends. You know, our when we say our soul, we are we are tri tripart beings. We are body, mind, and soul, and and so in in our spirit. And so our soul is a combination of our will, our emotions, our thoughts, the way we behave. We have this physical body, and we have a spirit. Now our spirit lives on for forever. It's either going to be in the lake of fire or be it uh, uh, in the basically the arms of Christ. But in either case, we have a great counterfeit that is out there. And in this counterfeit, we have clones, we have cloaking, we have walk-ins, we have possessed, or we have an amenable infected people who are cursed. Now with all that said, <clears throat> the reason that I bring this up is that the human body, you know, Ubers, and some people join them to be Ubers, that our bo bodies basically are Ubers for demons. Now our bodies can be Ubers for fallen angels. So otherwise we are the transporter, we are the bus, we are the taxi, we are the free ride. And the only way that they can have us is through sin, or that we have been born into a generational curse that gives the legal right for them to have us. Or we just simply let them in and transport them through our own sin, but let them act out their ugly nature through us. So when we do such things, and I've talked about this before, and I'm not going to get into any more detail in this, but I want to make a defined definition, the very fact that we see the people in the media, we see the people out there who are pretending to have our best interest, that what's the difference? How do we separate? Because if you have someone who pretends to be nice, who pretends to love you, who pretends to have your best interest, you know, like a, let's say a narcissist or a psychopath or a sociopath that through their behavior, that in reality, because they're through their deception by luring you in and causing you to think one thing when it's another in and itself is even more evil or more wicked than someone who makes a mistake. So it's deception. And I've talked about this with pastors, that there are many of them out there who really are Freemasons or Luciferians who are basically there only to keep you from, uh, from your inheritance to keep you from being who God intended you to be, to keep you in your curse, to keep you demonized, and even to infect you even more. So in this nature of demons acting out their ugly nature, that fallen angels can have their way in us as well. Now most of us probably do not have fallen angels or devils, but I can assure you that those who are in office, those who are politicians, those who are head of corporations, especially the military complex, are. 
they have many of them in there they have very powerful now fallen angels in themselves we need to understand and those who are the offspring of them are the seed of satan or lucifer now doesn't mean that a fallen angel is of is of lucifer they are separate entities okay they are not omnipresent they are not one that can be in all places at one time but i throw them in or or glob them together as evil or wicked being of the same nature you have a rank you have an order lucifer seems or to appears to be one that is over them but i can assure you that there are others who are very much an adversary very much in opposition but they are still wicked this is why we have the different nations that are at war we have the principalities the rulers the powers of those areas and they are territorial they will fight for their own area i've had demons that manifest in individuals and when i go to cast them out they actually came into the individual when they were visiting china when they were visiting russia when they were visiting japan and they didn't want to leave because they were going to be cast into an area of demons that didn't want them but on notes to them i don't cast them out i send them to the pit i don't just remove them out and have them wander around so they can wander into somebody else you know this this crazy teaching that uh, that you know we we you know when 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 the word talks about going into dry places it didn't say that the demon was cast out it says when a when a spirit leaves an individual okay big difference when i cast them out i don't cast them out into the world i don't cast them out so they can infect you i i send them to the pit i have been given all power all authority with christ who is in me that means that i make the decisions that means i make the choice that means i have the ability and if anyone tells you any different they're lying to you because i can tell you that over the years the garbage that i have heard through the churches that have done nothing but harm and hurt you that have kept you from being who god intended you to be that in its lie is what i'm talking about tonight and i'm tired of it i'm tired of seeing the lines here i'm tired of hearing the half truths we have a whole new generation of target individuals or people who are coming to the understanding that there really is wickedness and evil out there who are being lured who are being uh, directed into these part truths or lies because they're all lies and so they're confused and so they're receiving these deceptions they're being hoodwinked and in this hoodwink and in this lie uh, is is ultimately uh, still their demise when you come awake when you understand that there's evil when you understand that there really is a god and that that jesus christ is your lord and savior that is a time of rejoicing that is a time of coming to the understanding and being set free but instead most people are being turned around and brought into a, another bondage being ushered into cattle cars being ushered into fema railroad cars being issued or or herded into the fema boats like we had down in texas it's the same thing and 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 i'm tired of it and so i'm going to be hitting and i've mentioned this i'm i'm not pulling any punches anymore no more mr nice guy i don't care if you think i'm a bastard or not because it means you die it means you're infected it means you're sick it means you're going to have cancer it means you're going to blow your brains out and why am I going to stand by and let that happen? If, if I have made a commitment like I did 18 plus years ago to be a bondservant of Jesus Christ, to cast out demons and set the captives free, then, then by God, I better do it. And if I can't do it the way that I was doing it before, then I'll do it whatever way I can. Because I can assure you that if you think I'm living in, in fluff land, if I've got uh, flowers all around me and the birds saying no i'm in hell too anyone who's standing in the truth today is a loner we are a remnant and the majority of the people out there and people suck are full of demons and full of curses and they love it and this this college harvard by teaching this garbage is taking our next generation 
and putting them into cattle cars, heading them for the pit, heading them for destruction, heading them or programming them to be the opposition against us. And it's got to stop. <clears throat> As I mentioned, the human body potentially is an uber for demons. We allow them in, they act out their ugly nature, and the world and this society is so polluted, is so full of demons, that the 10% that were allowed to inhabit mankind, with the other 90% bound in hell, that since the creation of clones, of reptilians, and, other, and everything basically in between, that since they are an abomination, then I have to assume that when they die, that their spirit, too, becomes an evil spirit. So we have been adding to the numbers, and that's what Lucifer has been doing, is he's been building this army. And this so-called alternate media wants to tell you about Nephilim, wants to tell you maybe about a reptilian, maybe about black-eyed children, about but they don't tell you really the root issue of the core that affects you, and that's called sin, which is the food or the legal right to allow these creatures to have you. Instead, they go into all the other things that are spectacular, and oh boy, you know, wow, that's good stuff, and it's nothing, nothing. It's not going to help you. So as I address this tonight, and the people that are involved, I want you to understand that potentially they have fallen angels or devils in them, not just demons. So as I talk about the seed of Satan, I'm really talking about the direct offspring when we talk about the fall of the garden, that the seed that came through there, that when we talk about Cain, Cain was the offspring. Cain had murder in him. If he was of God, he wouldn't have murdered his brother. Get it? Well, that's a no-brainer, is it? But yet the church doesn't want you to know that. So in this, we need to understand that reptilians, as they walk among us, along with everything else in between, including demon-possessed people, that this world that we are in is extremely wicked. Now, you're either of God or you are of your father, the devil, period. There is no in-between. So to say that one type of reptilian over another is good or bad is absolutely insane. I think the saying, blood is thicker than water, is really where this comes from. Because I assure you, when it boils down, the only one race that is going to prevail will be the reptilians because they're not going to sell out their own kind. They're not the saviors. I don't care if they smell like cookie dough. I don't care if they blonde and are hot looking look they're going to go to their own kind and if they are of their father the devil then that means that the demons and the fallen ones can control them that the handlers that they have on the outside are going to get them to do whatever it takes to destroy you because when you see demons manifest just as I do and I've got them on tape I've done deliverances, it's recorded. The demons laugh and they joke and they talk about killing kids. They talk about perversion. They talk about giving drugs to children. They talk about everything in between that is evil. And you understand the very nature of them and that how they've infected this world. That We have to be very vigilant to understand that the people who are around us, the ones that we get our information from, they must show that they are human. They must show the truth, and they are not. Humans who choose to be an agent of the occult, those things hidden, have sold their birthright. They have sold their birthright. You need to understand that. Because they are not going to be with our God. They are going to be punished. Whether a politician the Pope, a Jesuit, a CIA agent, an FBI agent, a pastor. Yes, I said a pastor because many of them are wicked. I'm sorry. Get over it. Many already have DNA reptilian in them. They are carrying out. They are agents of Lucifer who have infiltrated the human population are and are among us. 
in or are human and they are cursed and in their nature have an iniquitous pull towards evil anyways. You need to understand that. That those with generations who have practiced witchcraft, who have been Luciferians, who have dedicated their children and their grandchildren, that many of the people that we're dealing with have been ultimately cursed. And somewhere along the line, they accepted the task. We've all been given a choice. If, if we have enough human in us, then God has promised a way out. So that choice has been given to everyone. So the question is, and in or that you need to ask yourself, who are you dealing with on a daily basis? Who do you work for? Who are you married to? Who are you in relationship with? I guarantee all of you in some way or another have dealt with all of the inhabitants of this world, of this earth, that have been reptilian, demon-possessed, or something in between, otherwise known as a clone, with more infiltration soon to come, guaranteed. Let's get back to the devils. Some are bound. Okay, we see that in the book of Enoch. Some are free. We saw this... Uh, uh, with uh, the watchers and so forth some are more powerful than others okay because if that were if if they were all the same power could you imagine the fight that would go on because i've had fallen angels manifesting within people and believe me they're more they're no more different than the demons that are in the people whatever went on however that ever that took place that seems to be the order of things as I mentioned, demons as well, 90% are bound right now. And that the 10% and the increase because of the abominations that are taking place. Just think how bad things are now. Just think how bad things will be. Just think when the veil is pulled back completely. Man, ouch. I, I mean, all, you know, I, I've told you that. All hell break loose. So their first quest these that will be released, those that come through the veil, then their desire is to inhabit humans. So do, do you have an open door? Are you operating in sin? Are you smoking pot? Because I'll tell you what, anyone who thinks that since pot's been legalized that it's okay, it is not okay. Remember the federal laws still see it as a crime. So if you happen to be standing next to a U.S. Marshal or an FBI agent and you light one up, guess what? And with the 97% conviction right in the federal courts, adios amigos, are you taking drugs? Are you still under a generational curse? Are you astral traveling? Hmm. Are you supporting the third eye? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's okay to be a so-called Christian and a Freemason at the same time? Do you practice witchcraft? Do you do things that show that it is divination? Are you a worshiper of idols? My point is most of the people on this earth, past, present, and future, are under or are ubers for demons, period. The infection rate is literally 100%. Sorry, it's true. Now the question is, what do you got? What kind of demons you got? How powerful are they? How many, how many of them have joined together because of legal right? You, you want to blame it on psychotronics? You want to blame it on gang stalking? You want to blame it on cell, cell towers? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, those things exist. But again, I'm telling you, most of you are infected. Now, the heads of state are ubers for devils, not just demons. And the question is, are you an uber for them yourself? Now, we you know, what is an uber, right? We talk about um, automatic cars or being one that, uh, you know, plays as a taxi or whatever. But something, you know, a lot of the uber cars are coming out that are automatic. I see one was just released there in Las Vegas. Hmm, that's interesting after the shooting. 
It's unmanned, it's automatic, it drives around, and it's eventually going to run someone over. But the point of it is, will you become an Uber or a bus for them? Because when you have a bus, you have the ability to hold a lot more, don't you? So is it going to be hundreds or is it going to be thousands with your open door? Or even with the potential of, you know, when there's mass death, like from a nuclear explosion, and I've talked about that, that when you have a million people die at once, you've got X amount of demons that will be looking for a new home real fast. Is that going to be you? All right, so... We also have new entities that are being allowed in through CERN. We have creatures that probably were not known of this world that were in other dimensions or potentially marooned on other planets. Because I believe that fallen angels, that when that all took place, that there's many of them potentially on Saturn and Mars. Okay, Jupiter is one of the reasons for the worship of Saturn. Saturn. One of the reasons for having CERN to give them a transportation to this realm. Get them off the planet, get them here in this world to seize it, to take it over. And so the question is, if they are of spirit, many things may potentially be some physical too. Then in either case, are they going to have you? So we've not seen anything yet, let me tell you. So let's look at my goat head wall of shame all right now on tinfoil hat club when you go down on the home page you come to the goat head wall of shame and the goat head is the representation of the devil's horns with your thumb and your baby finger with your three middle fingers down and this is also a curse by the way so when you see a politician when you see a star when you see somebody who does this over a crowd they're cursing okay you need to understand it and most people are, ex are receiving it because they have no comprehension of it so when we get on to the goat head wall of shame on tinfoil hat club we see bush jr right off the bat okay over and over and over again all through the pictures along with his wife and along with his kids and all of this doing the goat head then we see the ex-president Clinton and his, um, I don't know if I, I'm not going to call her wife, I don't know, what, whatever she is, Hillary. Same thing, <clears throat> along with 666, along with Pyramid, along with uh, the All-Seeing Eye, along with all the others. And then we have Pat Roberts, Pat Robertson, 700 Club, giving the Baphomet sign. Now, when you look at Baphomet and he's holding up his hands, it kind of looks like the Boy Scout Pledge. Gee, I wonder where they got that. But you also see this in the portraits or the portraying of Jesus in the Catholic paintings, which is not Jesus, because that halo that he's showing shows that it's of a fallen angel. And, and with this, they're showing so is above, so is below. So why is Pat Robertson doing that? Hmm. But, you know, we also see him pictured in Time magazine with his hand in his coat pocket, as the Freemasons do. This is why Napoleon was doing this. This is why when you look at some of the historic pictures of the past presidents and uh, uh, generals of, of the Civil War and any other politicians with their hand in there, they're giving the sign that they are a Mason. You need to understand that. So with this, we need to understand that Ted Cruz, the 2016 presidential candidate, wife who also played a very large role uh, in the North American Trade Agreement, which was to put us into bondage of both Mexico, United States, and Canada, that they too think it's okay to give the devil's horns. Now, Glenn Beck, wow. Of course, he's a Mormon. That makes him an automatic Mason. But I also show, if you go a little further down, he's wearing a belt buckle that is of the skull and bones. Hmm. But I thought he was a nice guy. I thought he was telling us all about democracy. I thought he was educating us on the history of the United States and the Constitution and where we're going. Hmm. 
Do you remember the clone that was on his show that they switched off? He even said, turn it off, turn it off, and then down he went. And then, of course, next to him is Putin. What? Putin? Now, how's that possible? Well, I'll tell you what. The Luciferianism, the cabal, those things that go all the way back to Babylon have been established for a very long time. This planet, this world, this earth, this rock, whatever you want to call it, has been infiltrated for a very long time. So it's no surprise that Obama whips it out once in a while too. And we see thousands of picks with Trump giving the 666. I told you who he was before he became president. I told you who he was when he became president. Things have not changed. And of course we have Sarah Palin, you know, the ex-governor of Alaska, supposedly went to school there in Sandpoint, Idaho, just north where I used to be. Coming off stage, coming off all the time, cursing the crowd with the devil's horns. Robin Williams, now a sacrifice, or potentially having a Mai Tai on a beach somewhere, and they just killed the clone. In either case, he's seen doing just about every kind of hand sign that you can imagine. Now, even Amena Job, even head of heads of state, doing a double goat's head. Well, how's that possible? Well, as I mentioned again, everything that we see in this world is a lie. The Pope, oh no, not the Pope. Oh yes, the Pope. Absolutely. The old black Jesuit himself, the black Pope. Okay? You see many, many videos and many pictures of him shape-shifting, manifesting, becoming and revealing what he is right before our very eyes. And of course, Bush Sr., no surprise, always being you know calling for the new world order just like his father which was a nazi sympathizer right and uh, that was prescott bush and then kenneth hagan what I mean the Kun kundalini infector the one that allowed his churches and many other churches to lay hands and passing demons and and bring in the kundalini into just as we had with uh uh uh, the uh, oh, what was that? Uh, the the uh, uh, churches in the West Coast there, bringing it all the way through to Oregon, bringing it all the way down into um, Florida, going all the way up into Canada, and now all the churches, especially our youth, have it. Okay, so we see Gary Stearman. Hmm, no, that's strange. No, I, I've talked about that before. There's an awful lot of pictures of him that show that the probability is and we have to understand that Stearman Aviation is where he comes from father there with the government during you know the, the war times building craft that uh, was specialized so why would someone who is associated with Tom Horn who is an associate of Steve Quayle and also an associate of L.A. Marzulli why would they be doing such a thing or why would they have an affiliation because I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, that those people who pretend to have your best interest in this world do not. And if you're still listening to them and you're still watching them, you're being cursed, you're receiving the lie, you're setting up the camp in your brain to receive any more. Now, I know this is all confusing. I know it's very hard to take, and I know that you don't like to hear it, but it's true. And I'm telling you what. If these were truly men and women of God that did such things, then in these presentations, why would they give the goat head? By any of the curse, by any of the means, is still those demons infiltrating and coming upon the people listening. And so cursing the people is what they're doing. Now, Pastor Hagee, basically the drum beater for World War III, a known Zionist, one who is trying to give us the uh, thought that the state of Israel is under the direction of God when we clearly see in Scripture that it will be where uh, basically uh, Lucifer takes his throne, that in this new world order that we have that he's calling for World War III, again trying to herd in the Christians or the ones who think they are Christians, 
because you cannot be one of a believer of Jesus Christ and a Zionist at the same time. I'm sorry, because if you are, you have sold your birthright. Sorry, that's the way it is. They need either case that just like the reptilian Kenneth Copeland, who I have seen have double rolls of teeth and manifest and boy, just by himself and looking into his eyes, as I said that if he came into my past office that I'd have to go into lockdown because the manifestations that would come out of him would show they'd have some big boys in him. Devils, not just demons, okay? Now, in either case, most likely himself is a reptilian and is cloaked. So even Alex Jones, with the people that he has on, especially the one that you see over in Europe, that those who are able to take the video and dissect them and show the manifestations show the cloaking uh, that goes wrong that in this again we have the same that is taking place all over this world all over within this country all over within the alternate media that we have to be assured we have to be confirmed that those that we're listening to truly are of of god because they can give a little bit of truth they can give half lie they can give half truth but it's all a lie period so my point devils demons and people people who are basically loaded with devils and demons can give the appearance of being a great man of god or a great woman of god or or a politician that has won your heart and that you support them and every day are lying to you hoodwinking you cursing you What did you think the great deception was? When you hear about the great deception, what did you think it was? That this so-called Christianity that we have in this country was, was true? Really? Well, if it was true, then why is the Great Commission not being orchestrated? Why are there not deliverance ministries within the churches? Why are curses not being broke off? Why are there not just like they have in other places, demon tents, where they bring the people on the front door, they bring them to Christ, they baptize them, and they take them out the back door to the demon tents, and they get their demons out of them. Because anyone that has come under the false pretense of thinking of the Lord's Prayer as saving your rear ends, you are wrong. It is a change of the heart. It is a change of the spirit. Is the ability to hear the truth and accept it and know in your discernment that comes from God that it is the truth. That if you're still listening to these people, and I've had some of you email, well, I've listened to them. Does that mean I need? Yes, it does. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You've got demons in your noggin, you've got demons in your crotch. Because 90% of the people I hear from, you've got them in your private parts. And how do you think they got there? It tells you how infected you are. Look, I don't like telling you this. And the reason they're there is because you probably didn't know. You, you, you bought the lie, you were old enough that free sex and, and you know, all the stuff that we went through. I, I was, you know, a generation coming in after, you know, hippies. We called them freaks. You know, drugs were big pot smoking was big all of the stuff what it did it just it just infected everybody and the church has done nothing to set you free so i rest my case so every day you were listening to them being hoodwinked being cursed again what did you think the great deception was this is a war the enemy has infiltrated us you need to understand that we have moles we have spies We have those that are moving about that are pretending to be us. And we, with open arms, take them in at face value, which is cloaked. Puts a whole new twist on that, doesn't it? We receive the half-truth, which is lie. And we basically, I, you know, I don't take any pride. I don't take any joy or satisfaction in telling you this and revealing these people that any time that you listen to them, 
that in any case and whatever they say they're just hurling demons at you many of the pastors that are out there that the preaching that they give keeps you in greasy grace so you don't you don't understand your error you don't understand the need to repent you don't understand the need to ask for forgiveness and so you may actually pick up more demons and go out the door and bring it home to the family and i'll tell you it's 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 at an epidemic level it's it's terrible whoever in the case of those that are out there that are perpetrating they know what they are doing they know what they are doing so you know what it, as i mentioned if if you know what you're doing and you continue to do it anyways knowing that you are going to harm somebody you are wicked you are wicked you're not just evil you're wicked you're deceptionally taking people to the grave so in the name of the game of deception what are they really doing well it's all controlled opposition and so by winning your hearts and giving you subject matters that are very interesting I have to admit I love hearing about some of this stuff too but it does not connect to the dots to the very point that you've got open doors you've been operating under curse and that we got all kinds of things coming into this world that are going to be looking for you so it turns you ever so slightly away from the truth away from the real enemy away from demons and devils of the understanding that those people who partake in such thing are possessed or not to fully recognize the real reptilians that walk among us because it's very serious right now and and I'm as I mentioned as as I move forward to basically you know opening and bringing more to this I'm gonna be hitting it hard and I and I know it's gonna make some of you mad and in some of your uh, you know I look at the board here and I talk about uh, uh, Skywatch or some of these other people or the Hagmans or something and you turn me off well good knock yourself out because you're going to get so infected you're going to be so screwed up you're going to be so twisted that I can't help you I, I can't pray for a thousand people a day you know I tried there for a while burn myself out and then to see that some of you that come in and, and some of you are good people I'm not talking about all of you then you turn around and you go to shamans. What do you got a hole in your head? That what I put in there fell out, it rolled out like a marble? Holy smokes. I mean, I'm stunned. And then and then supporting the third eye? You see, if you are deceived, you are deceiving and are allowing deceiving spirits to accompany the lie do you understand it so you have there are spirits that are deceiving that are lying that are betrayers that are that are you know as I was explaining to someone the other day about uh, spin doctors okay real quickly I'll tell the story again for for the new listeners years ago when I was being trained that during one of the seminars that a deliverance was being done as an example to show us you know how to control demons and who's in charge and, and this the order of things and it was somebody who was a spin doctor in Washington DC who was the example or the one being delivered well as it turns out they were satanically richly abused they were MK altered they were put in place intentionally as a spin doctor so what is a spin doctor well if some of you are not familiar Clinton had spin doctors because he was such a pervert with all of his perversion and the assault of women that you would have to bring a team in of people to spin everything to make it look like it was the woman's fault to go bomb uh, an aspirin factory 
or to, you know, just basically make it look like it's someone else's fault. That's what a spin doctor does. So in order to be a liar, you have to have lying, deceiving spirits. So those lying, deceiving spirits, whenever you have something that is a broadcaster, how many of you have ever uh, put in a brand new yard? And I, I remember I went to Home Depot and I brought this, bought this little square thing that had a little crank on it. And I poured seed into it and I walked around the backyard and I rotated it and it took the seeds and it threw it out uh, uniformly in front of me in a, in a like 180 degrees. It's like they, 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 they, it's like they, they've got a, a reservoir of seeds and they're turning the crank and they're broadcasting the lies onto you. So the question is, is the seed taking hold? Is the water coming along for it to, to, uh, to blossom, to bloom? Hmm? You need to understand that the more that you subject yourself to it, the more seeds that you're getting. And remember the old saying, let's throw it against the wall and see what sticks. So you may only get one out of ten, but boy, it's a doozy. So that's keeping you and us from the full understanding of the real root issue. Oh, we can talk about reptilians. We can talk about, you know, giants. We can talk about fallen angels. We can talk about this. We can talk about that. But the real root issue and the cause is always avoided. We can even talk about reptilians. But if you do not address their ability to infect, to control, to destroy, they will. Devils, demons, and possessed people run this world. We, the real people, as a whole, offer little or no opposition to them. Why? And I've said this before. Because just like radio waves that are killing us slowly... They operate out of view. There is nothing to block them. There is nothing to alter them. And now the focus is on everything other than the truth of demons. Blame it at all on radio waves, voice to skull, 5G, psychotronics. So until we understand that it's our open doors and our sin and our curses, basically we go unchecked. Now, Radio waves and voice to skull and psychotronics are a problem. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> but the moment that you think that that's all that it is, then you're in trouble. So other operations of evil will continue, no matter basically how much or how much spin is put about that, they're going to continue to do what they do because the, the truth just isn't there. So as we move along, more information or more disinformation is being released every day and night by every kind of news source, alternative, whether, you know, basically it's the ones I've talked about. And the basic answer is always kept from you. The answer to, be, to you being set free or the truth or the understanding of exactly what you are dealing with. So in part or in whole, the truth is always kept from you. Nothing is going to change with all of this information regardless. So anyways, so, you know, as individuals, we need to put our house in order. The world is the way that it is, but we still need to put our house in order. Whether it's our own house, whether it's the house that we live in, that we occupy and we share and dwell with others, our house needs to be in order. We need to stand in the truth, and those who continue to listen to them are enable, are basically you're enabling them. So here's an example. If you buy marijuana, and I know that marijuana is being legalized in other states, and I do not uh, promote that. If you buy marijuana illegally, even if you buy it legally, it doesn't matter, you still promote the crimes that were committed that got it to you in the first place because there are people who murder 
there are mules, there is money laundering, there's everything you can imagine, regardless even if it's legal, it's still going to show up somehow that in it is a path of sin. And that is my final answer. So by listening and supporting these other people, you're enabling them. You're allowing their crimes and their sins to continue. And you're allowing yourself to be deceived and into bondage. All right. Now on Thursday, we proclaim. I'm going to continue with that for a while. I'm going to see what uh, how I hold up. And then, of course, on Friday's show for Ten File Hack Club to be announced. But in either case, thank you for your support. I needed to get through this tonight. You need, you need to understand who I am and what I think and what I feel, what I believe and who I believe is the enemy. Because I've told you that if there is not a promotion of deliverance, if there is not the understanding of what we're really called here to do in this short time on earth, then those who are infected... Those who are in need, those who are cursed, are going to continue, and you are not going to be usable in the last days. You're going to be too sick. You're going to be in the trenches and, and, and the, the toxic poisons, you know, like in uh, chemical warfare, like mustard gas, which clings to the ground and moves along and gets into the foxholes. It's going to take you out. And that's exactly what's happening. And so you're not going to be able to come out of that foxhole swinging. All right. Thank you again for your support. I'm going to do the best I can with what I have left. And as I do that, um, just bear with me. Okay. God bless everyone. And again, I'm trying to get back to the emails. I think I've got everyone. So I'll do what I can. God bless. <laughs>